Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys. And today's video I'm actually pretty excited for because I haven't done a video like this in all of my birthdays that I've been on YouTube. So I'm excited to do something like this. So anyways, in this video I'm going to share seven life lessons that I've learned in my 27 years of life in celebration of my 28th birthday, which is when this video goes up, it'll be tomorrow, so August 31st. So yeah, if you guys want to see what those life lessons are, then please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter, turn on your post notifications, and let's get right into the video. Alright you guys, so I just quickly want to put a disclaimer out there that obviously I've learned so much more in the 27 years of life, well now it's going to be 28 years of life that I've had here on this earth. I've learned so much that I couldn't possibly fit everything into just seven um, life lessons. But I just really wanted to sum it up. These are some of like the big life lessons that I've learned and I think that are the more prominent ones that will take me on um, for the rest of my life kind of thing. Um, so I want to share them with you. 27 has been like chapter 27, just the 27th year of my life has been really, really tough for me. And I think that kind of reflecting on what I've learned in my life as a whole just brings um, year 27 into more of a cleaner perspective and doesn't seem it doesn't make it seem as negative as I probably feel like it it feels because it's been tough you guys like this past year has been a really I don't know I don't even know I don't really know what words to use towards it but it's definitely been challenging and difficult but I realized with a little bit of reflection that everything that happened was supposed to happen obviously I know we know that in life but sometimes when it gets hard we tend to forget and for me I was definitely forgetting that but as I reflected on the year I, I realized that this year was everything that it was supposed to be and I am just ready for new beginnings, a new chapter, and I'm ready for year 28, chapter 28. I'm just ready to see what it brings and I'm praying and hoping that it's a lot of great stuff because come on, like come on. <laughs> I wrote a note in my phone with the lessons um, so you guys can see I have it here. And I actually wrote this last night at 2.21 a.m. I don't know I was just like you know what let me write it today instead of thinking about it like in the moment so I'm gonna wait for this helicopter or plane to pass so the very first one I wrote is you're not responsible for how you were raised or how you grew up you're responsible for your growth and where you end up in life so that one seems very I mean all of these are pretty much like I can just show you the list and you're gonna understand exactly what I mean I at least I think I do so I'm just gonna share a little bit of my experience um i was always you know sometimes we get to we tend to get stuck in the past and thinking like man i wish i had this opportunity i wish i had that like especially when you see people um have such a big head start when it comes to a lot of things and my family just wasn't like that and it's not their fault or anything because it's generations of cycles and things like that um, that I don't care to get into right now but I just had to like tell myself like I'm not responsible for everything that I've been through as a child or everything that or how I was raised or anything like that I'm just responsible for how I behave now and what I choose to do with my life now and where I choose to end up and also responsible for the life that I give my future family so that's something that I definitely had to learn it's not a hard lesson to learn at all but it is one of those that kind of get tedious because it's just like, man, I just wish. And then you kind of get into like that bad head space, which is not great. So that was number one. Number two is what other people do or say to you has nothing to do with you. And I'd also like to add that what other people think of you has nothing to do with you. A lot of times, a lot of times, like almost every day, if somebody, for me, I'm talking up on my own personal experience, um, if somebody like just rolls their eyes at me or just it could be a stranger or it could be like a family member that just said something like really like just I don't know something that bothered me and then I have to like think like okay it's not about me because even if somebody has an opinion of you they form that opinion with the thoughts that they have about how the world and how people should behave and should act and should whatever without fully ever knowing exactly what part of that was about you and was about like your life story and how, what got you there you know what i mean like your personality 
is built up from things that you've been through but sometimes when people treat us a certain way it really has nothing to do with how our personality is anyway it's really just all about what they think and how they feel and how they view things so that one's a tough one to learn because that one is something I still have to like practice because a lot of times I just take things personally and I feel like people just don't like me or just are just whatever it is like I just feel really I take things harshly because I'm very like sensitive and stuff so um, that one is something I'm definitely going to carry with me for the rest of my life because don't take these things personally. It's not, it has nothing to do with you. They're on their own personal journey. You're on your own personal journey. So that's that. Number three is you have to work for everything that you want. Nothing is owed to you no matter what you do. Now this one I've learned time and time and time and time again over the last 27 years. Like, well, 28 now, but you guys can you gotta get you guys get the gist of it for some reason i feel like a lot of us tend to think this way it comes from just in relationships or like in families or just in what the system owes you like what like the jobs that you're supposed to get after you graduate college and stuff like we have all of these like i'm supposed to get this i deserve this i it's like it doesn't really work like that you have to kind of backtrack and see what you exactly are bringing to the table and not even that sometimes it's just if something doesn't work out for you it's just not really meant for you and maybe you have to go through another path and maybe you have to go down another road to get to that end goal but at the end of the day nothing is owed to you no matter what you do so you can bust your ass at a nine to five and swear that you're gonna get a promotion next week and it doesn't mean that it's owed to you um, everything you kind of just have to like keep striving for and just kind of be patient and wait for your moment because it's coming but that is something that is very hard for me because patience is something that has been just hard for me to conquer and kind of like it's just been hard for me I don't I don't know but that one is something I'm definitely all of these lessons I'm telling you guys is definitely something I'm gonna carry for the rest of my life because they're big ones. Number four is every person in your life, no matter their title in your life, is just a human being. Now, this one is also another one that I have to like practice. And I think a lot of us don't realize because, um, for example, your parents and stuff, although they're your parents, they're also just regular human beings with their own traumas and their own everything everything like their own views of life their own opinions their own thoughts their own experience their own life journey in in general like everybody although that's your mom or that's your dad or that's your uncle that's your aunt they're not going to be like this model figure all the time they're just regular human beings that have this title in your life but sometimes if we forget to see them as human beings we expect too much and then in turn just don't build a great relationship so Something to keep in mind is to see these people as human beings and then we'll have a little bit more compassion for them. Um, at least I think we'll have a little bit more, I, I can have a little bit more compassion when I see my mom and family members in general just like as human beings because they are just human beings. So number five, it's a big one and it's one that I've had to practice for the entire year of me being 27. I've had to practice this and 26 as well, but mostly 27 because it's been challenging. But number five is life isn't set out to destroy you. Nothing is meant to destroy you. Everything and everything is meant for your growth. It's not happen, happening against you. It's happening for you. So a lot of times when a lot of like negative things happen to us, for example, for me, I've had death. I've had some health issues. I've had some family members getting sick and then I've had death again. And then I've had I've had a lot of things going on this just one year it's easy for me to get stuck in the oh man life is so unfair to me life sucks like why is this happening to me and I don't necessarily have those like thoughts and stuff like that but it's easy to, for me to get into that mood of just like man I'm kind of just giving up as you guys seen in a couple of videos before this that's kind of like the mood that I was in and ultimately I have to remember that everything that I'm going through is going to make me greater for the next time that I go through this and life is just that's just gonna keep happening because that's just what life is about it's not meant to destroy me it's meant for my growth and for the greater good and it's supposed to happen so I have to kind of just let it happen and grow from it and kind of see like the positives in that so that's a that's a big one 
So number six is there are going to be good and bad moments in life. Cherish them both. Take the good with the bad. So I, for years and years and years, have loved saying take the good with the bad. And that's always been one of my favorite quotes. And I forget where it's from exactly. But as I said, life is going to have its ups and downs. And that's just life, especially as you get older. The song by Janae Aiko is Ways, but Why Aren't You Smiling? It's the acronym. And... In the second verse, she says something like, Life only gets harder, but you've got to get stronger. So when I listen to that and when I just think about life, it's like life has gotten progressively like harder as far as the things... As far as the things that I've had to deal with, it's gotten progressively harder because I feel like death and health issues and everything is like a major, you know, it's like a major part of life and it's like a major part of just quality of life. It's longevity and everything and I feel like yes things are gonna get hard and harder especially you're gonna as you get older you know the older people in your life start fading away in that way and stuff like that so things do get a little bit tough yeah I just have to remember to although there's gonna be bad moments I have to remember the good moments and in both moments in the bad moments and in the good moments and the, that's up to you whatever you decide it's bad or good um, in both moments it can all just be good though but in both moments, you have to remember to kind of like stay grounded and realize that this doesn't last forever and it's going, you have to just cherish it. You know what I mean? You have to cherish both the good and the bad because the bad, you know, it's going to pass and the, the good, the good just feels good and that's what life is about. So that's a, a big lesson that I've always carried with me and I've tried to keep keep at the front of my mind. Number seven, a lot of us are walking around trauma responding to everything in our lives. Be kind to every person you encounter because you don't know their story. I've always been a big believer in that if you know someone's story, you'll be able to have more compassion for them and you'll be able to connect to them more. But the trauma responding thing is something I recently learned and um, a lot of my personality and how I behave and stuff has a lot to do with the trauma that I've experienced in my life. And I've always known that it's a thing, but I've never quite put the words together and really matched it up. There's a lot of like personality traits and things and behaviors that I have that I don't necessarily like and I don't wish to be like, but sometimes I'll get into that mode and then I just don't know what to do. And then going through therapy and everything, I kind of realized that it is just trauma responding because when I was younger, I went through some things that made me cope in this way and so I've went my entire life just coping in this way so learning that for myself allows me to see other people as well and allows me to understand them as well so the more you understand yourself the more you're gonna understand the people around you and just strangers family members anybody because you're able to see how the mind works how the body is developed how everything kind of plays a part and how everybody's life journey is leading them to the person that they are today and yeah you do with that as you will but for the final one i do have a bonus and this can be eight the lucky eight for 28 because i'm turning 28 but anyways the bonus one is health is indeed wealth the better you take care of yourself the better the quality of life you live quality of life over everything and on that note i just want to say that this year i was definitely tested especially with my health and stuff I, on so many ways like mental physical other things like I was definitely tested in that area and I had to learn that um, the way I was treating my body at certain points wasn't doing it any good and I would say that through my panic attacks for example in those moments I never wanted to live more and that's like a crazy experience because in that moment you just feel like you're dying like a panic attack I don't know if you guys ever had one but you kind of feel like you're dying and I just I just tried to focus on like I do want to live and that might be a little bit triggering but I've had moments where I just didn't want to I didn't care I just didn't care and so within the chaos and everything I kind of realized that I do want to live and my health is very important and um, yeah quality of life over any and everything because the better the quality the longer life you're gonna have and just the better life goes for you in general so 
Anyways, those are basically eight lessons, eight life lessons I've learned in the past now 28 years of my life. I am above everything else. I am just really, really grateful to be here. And I am really grateful to be learning these life lessons that I feel like I couldn't move forward without. And I just know that me learning this at this age is preparing me for whatever else is next. So I'm really, really excited and I am really just grateful and I'm grateful for all of you. So thank you in advance for all the birthday wishes because you guys always come through every year with such such sweet messages and everything. So I just want to thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. I love you all and I hope you guys have a great week and good luck with September because it's going to be September now. So good luck with all of that and thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed some these lessons let me know in the comments down below what is one big lesson you've learned in life and we can kind of interchange some thoughts and stuff i'll be respond i'll be replying to like all the comments on these video on this video so be sure to leave them in the comments down below and thank you guys um thank you guys so much please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram snapchat facebook and twitter turn on your post notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!